a quartz blog, the gateway to the truth. Having been extended by a week due to the reconfiguration of the bimodal ac verification accreditation system BIVAS by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, we are just a few hours away from the gubernatorial election, which is to be held across 28 states within the nation. Lagos State being one of the main focus of this particular election due to the fact that it's going to be tightly contested between the incumbent governor, Babatidi, uh, Babajide Sawolu, as well as many aspirants, including uh, the Badebo, Rhodes Vivo, and uh, Jandor of the People's Democratic Party, we are in for a tight contest. Currently, uh, Equal Arts Blog is at Ekpe, the ancient city in Lagos State, to you know, discuss with people about the state of things. You know, many have talked about the fact that this election might be very violent. Many have said, okay, this election is a bit tribalistic. Many have said that this election might be a bit of a surprise, like the presidential elections, whereby we witnessed the Labour Party winning Lagos State. But then we are in Ekpe to just get the views of people a few hours before time. Everywhere is calm, as you can see. And yeah, we are going now to discuss with the people to see what their expectations are towards the elections tomorrow, what they think is going to be the outcome. And definitely we'll be bringing you more updates about many of the events that will be happening in Lagos State, especially where local government, which is our main focus for this election, this particular period. Stay, you know, stay glued to Echo Arts Blog, I, and Joshua Adeji, as well as um, our various uh, Echo Arts Blog correspondents. We're bringing you lots of updates about the election live from Ekwe. So keep watching as we go out and interview the people. Thank you very much. So, Idiboto Koja, we fun presidential. I'm sure this time around, fun the governorship to check me. To want to want to elect, we go on my jadi. Allah won't say any Jamie will resign the page. I'm a warara. Koni si ja. Ilu ekpe awa peaceful. Koni si ah kinja. Ekpe uri ba itele itele afani pass governor governor. Omu la jani lu. Face me and face kini ni titi itele itele wosi. This express. We go on lunch afani. So, It's quite very obvious. State elections are more rooted compared to that of uh, federal elections. And therefore, there will be more turnout when it has to do with uh, governorship elections and houses of assembly. So on that note, it's obvious Nigerians will troop out Emma's tomorrow for this election. When it comes to issue of elections in Nigeria, the question of violence, the question of tribalism, religion, we cannot remove it from it because our people need what is called more orientation. We have encouraged them that tomorrow there must be a mass turnout. And considering the fact that the election was shifted for a week, thereby giving people the grace, the opportunity to also went to INEC to collect their PVCs. Every other arrangement has been put in place to ensure that our people go out there and vote. And this time around, go and mark it. The score will be greater and bigger in number than the previous election. About that, I think uh, I will say that they will try to place matter this time around, but I'm not expecting 100% uh, free and fair election. 
I expect that uh, they will still repeat what they did before, but in a smarter way now. From my own personal predictions, I think uh, there will be a little bit of violence here and here, but it will not stop me from coming out to vote. We are hoping that the mistake of last uh, this presidential election will not repeat itself. Yes, I believe that tomorrow will come up because many, what happened in the presidential election, many people have seen it. A lot of clips we are shown how some areas were violent. If they have been able to put the beavers in order, I think we should be able to get the right thing done so that everybody will be happy. The NNEC already they knew that they didn't meet up with the standard. Our standard was not met. So if this the opportunity that have been given to them again for this second term, they didn't do well, they didn't play well, then we will rule them off. My own taking requires that all elections that we have in Ekwe is always non-violent because the party is there. It's APC. We are voting for Somolu, we are voting for Somolu directly. I think we are going to say that. No, that's why. So they want to leave mistakes. They want to say last year, last year, last time. So they didn't have to say that by this time. Tudor <laughs> But the only thing about Nigerians is that they always want to see something new. They're always seeking for something new. Because they don't know, they just want to see whether you can take it higher. And then that's always what they are expecting. But Sam really didn't do anything bad. He's worth repeating it. But if he doesn't win, I'm sure anybody who wins is the best person for the game. Our fair cardibo. She won't answer wala. Hold on, she cashed me in your own. I want my neck. Book book more long. Cause book book work has to work. Book has to change. No, no, no. Can't run back. I'm a jade. See me over jade. Today I'm one on the landi go. Today I want no bad work. I'm one on the deep bell on la. You understand? I do what you want here. Currently, we are at North Orija. We have been everywhere around Ekwe today, sampling the opinions of people and their views about the elections tomorrow. We met with even the Zaini go here, as well as many other people. Discussing what their expectations are tomorrow. We've been to Eredo, we've been to Ilara, we've been to Ayetoro, we've been to uh, Eredo and many other places in Ekwe. And yes, many people have talked about the fact that, well, tomorrow they are going to come out, they are going to try to um, partake in the franchise. Though they talk about the fears of what happened in the past elections and the fact that they expect INEC to give them a more credible elections than the presidential elections and you know many other views of people which are in this particular report which you've already heard from our plot there but we'll keep bringing you bigger updates uh faster updates on the old election the gubernatorial election in lagos state especially from the fair local government but you have to do something you have to ensure that you are consistently viewing all our programs on eco art blog you know follow us on all our social media platforms especially on our youtube page do well to subscribe and yes, you will get as much as possible timely updates from the elections tomorrow as it shows forth that it's going to be very exciting. To meet tomorrow, my name is Yonada Joshua Adeji. Keep it long.